Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to another video. My name is Praveen Balan. Today we are going to speak about a new feature that is released by Intune, Microsoft Intune recently. It's all about Mac OS platform SSO. You might be already aware and many of us were waiting for this feature to be made available into Intune for quite a long time. It was delayed for multiple reasons from Microsoft. Finally, it became available. So in this video, we are going to take a quick look at how can you configure platform SSO from, from Intune and how do you configure or how do you enroll to platform SSO from an endpoint perspective. So we are going to take two areas. One, how do you config, make the configuration with an Intune? And in the second part, we are going to take a look at how will it react or what will be the user experience when user gets the policy delivered to their devices. So in, the focus on this video is not about enrolling a Mac device into Intune. It's all about enabling only the platform SSO. So it will be a continuation to my previous video, one of the previous videos, which is coming as a suggestion uh, here. So if you have not configured your Intune to enroll Mac devices, please follow the other video and then come and follow this video. So with that note, let's straight jump into the configuration side of the platform SSO. Now we get to configurations and go and start creating the policy. I already have a couple of policies there. So I'll be creating a new policy for Mac OS and choose the settings catalog to start with. And this section is very, very crucial. And you have to follow every single bit of information in this section otherwise your platform SSO may react differently okay so click on add settings and under authentication so you have got extensible single sign on SSO and under which the authentication method deprecated usually that's only if, only if you're using a Mac OS 13 and below but in this video, I am more focused on 14.0 and above. I think most of us are already will be in 14.0. So and select each and every settings as I mark here in this video. Do not miss out of any of these sections. This is very, very, very critical. So once you select all those options, I will be sharing the reference article in the description. Once you select all those features, you'll have to configure the values for each of this area. So this information will also be provided or it's also available in the article that I'm going to share it. Just follow it fully or follow my video in detail as I mentioned in it. So this section is important. Use secure enclave key or password, right? So if you wanted to synchronize your local password again as the enter ID, you must use the password. But if you want to maintain the local password of Mac and ensure that you have an SSO enabled, then you should use the secure enclave key. So I have chosen to go with a secure enclave key option. And if you choose to do password, you are more than welcome to do so. So I have the policy now created. That's all, all done from Intune perspective. Now we can jump to the Mac OS. Log into the Mac and all you need to ensure is the company portal is up to date. What I'm going to do, I'm going to perform a quick update on the company portal, though I'm, I'm aware that it's already updated, but you can do this if for any reason, if you're not getting the platform SSO gets, you know, gets prompted. Once you update it, if it's not signed in already, usually it's signed in. So I'm just signing into the company portal. Wait for a while. The policy should automatically come to your device and prompt you to complete the rest of the configurations. But if it did not verify your company portal is to the recommended version, if not, then you may need to download the new version of company portal manually and install it to upgrade the one. Right. For me, it's already on that minimum required version so do a check-in status again if you want to pull the policy fairly quickly or else you can still wait it should come automatically or it will come automatically but uh, just just for a time uh, to to receive the update fairly quickly i'm just doing a check-in so it's, as you can see the registration prompt has come in so this password is your local mac device password 
and once you enter the password it will initiate the configuration it's nothing more as an end user that they have to do it after this it will ask you to sign in to the enter id and the post the sign in it will initiate the configuration and request you to enable some security feature inside mac settings we'll get to that in a minute so now it's preparing your device for platform sso now it's saying like you know there is a settings which uh, it is clearly saying go to passwords password option use passwords and pass keys and and you'll have to enable company portal you can either go straight from here from open settings since i want you to i want to navigate through the configuration i'm just going manually so go to passwords under password option so it will ask you to enter the the mac device password it's not your enter id it's again your mac device password and under password options you have to turn on company portal at this state the device will start configuring enter id passkey this will be presented across enter id for the single sign on so at, at this stage you can dismiss the company portal and wait for the enter id configuration once it is done you will get a success message so that's all the end user they have to do it and after that we can jump we can quickly jump into how to validate the settings if the platform sso is enabled once you're actually completed the configuration now we can validate if the configurations are right or is it applied go to users and group and click on edit at the network account server and you should you should see mac o, mac sso extension and it is showing us registered and you can also see a kind of a company portal logo there so that's all it's called it's properly configured now there's another one that we need to validate is whether the account is enabled with sso if you see the bottom the registration is complete there's nothing wrong with the registration secure enclave key is the method that we use it's not the password and there is also a token which is not showing anything so you can actually authenticate here but i want to leave it there because the user when they log out and log in back the the SSO should turn green as well. So let's take a quick look at I'm just logging out and logging in back to the device. So let's go back to the same settings again. Now if you see to my account Praveen and you can see the SSO tokens present. So which means your SSO is now enabled and you can very well go to a Safari browser and try office.com and it shouldn't ask you any username and password. So, so basically the configuration side of it is fairly simple so you don't have a lot of complex configuration that you need to make but the experience that the end user is going to get out of configuring the platform SSO if you are primarily using Mac OS as your endpoint devices then it is it's beyond the words I would say because people do not want to be get prompted with password multiple times and also if you configure secure enclave key method it is more like a uh, passwordless authentication or a windows hello for business kind of authentication which is more secure because the end, end user is not typing their actual enter id password and and it becomes more and more secure so it's the, this feature is currently in preview you are very well to use them because you'll get all the support from microsoft but wait for it to be generally available before you move this into production but you can always do some piloting and ensure that you're getting the experience that you re really feel like and it's stable and all that right and if you have any problem when configuring platform sso please do not forget to write the comment and i'll try and respond to it as much as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel and if you feel like it may add value to you please do not forget to subscribe this is praveen balance signing off for now we'll be back with another video very soon <music>